Okay, so I found these at the Dollar Tree. A UV lamp. And one of these. I've been actually wanting to get some for a while. Especially this one. And for the UV lamp, I was just very curious. And it was pretty cool that they had one there. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try these two. And I'm going to put some uh, fake nails on to see how long they last. I also got this glue. Well... Uh, tabs, I don't know, it's a little glue to see how much they last um, well, how long they last uh, and this is to prep my nail pretty much and let's see how they work I ended up um, hurting my nail because <laughs> this was super, super hard to open. So it's still hard as you can see. You see it has these little tabs and that that's what makes it like super hard to open. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put batteries on it. Be right back. First, let's check if it works because of that. Okay, so if it works, I think these pop out like this. Now I'm gonna have to close it. I'm just gonna leave the batteries in there because it was hard to, it was really hard to open. So anyways, there it is. It has an on and on switch, so it just stays on like that. So it's pretty cool, the concept of you having a UV lamp for like a dollar twenty-five, you know, so that's pretty awesome. Now back to this one, I'm gonna put the, the batteries, but it has a screw on the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this, because it's ridiculous. I've been at it for a while already, and I wanted to show you guys a technique I used to open this thing because uh, it didn't want to open as it like jammed or something. So I pushed the tab out and then I unscrew. And that was the only way that I came out because they were not would have still been at it so okay so, let's see i'm just gonna leave it like that because this thing was hard to open maybe a little there you go that should be good enough you see so now let's put on this one Well, it works. Pretty cool. Now, okay, so my hands are already clean. Clean. I'm gonna prep them, but first I wanted to see how sharp this thing is. It's pretty. Okay. Now let's change to. The other two. Oops. Let's see this one. Okay, this one's definitely harder. See it? Okay, let's see this one. So from the three of them, I think the white ones are stronger. Um, if you feel it, it doesn't feel so strong. The rougher one is this one, but they're all around the same, to be honest. I think it's just the shape that matters. And yeah, this one's the least rough one. 
So let's use that one to prep my nail. We're gonna get it closer. Oh, it kind of burns. It, it feels like it's very strong. And I really don't like using this. I just like kind of giving it a light pass. So there it is. Now we've tested this one out. It works just fine. It works actually pretty good. So for a dollar twenty-five, you you know you get a cool little tool like this. It's very useful for doing your nails you know for prepping them and it's not too crazy rough on it so i really like this one uh now let's see how well this one does uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put the nail glue uh, the nail glue i'm gonna be using is this one by beetles um <clears throat> and uh yeah, i'm gonna just test it out i have to have this thing on so I'm going to do this process over here. I'm just going to put the glue on the nail. Because if I do it there, then it's going to dry up. I'm going to put this on top of two blocks like this. Just to see if it's more helpful, you know, to me, like going like that. So, so let's get started on this. It doesn't matter that I have a bubble because we're just testing it out. And I'm going to take off this nail anyway, so it's all good. So now we wait for a minute. Okay, so I just took it out. Please ignore that humongous bubble, but it pretty much did the trick. It helped, you know, like it's pretty much there, just like with the other lamp. I usually carry it on the one that came with the, the beetle... Uh, nail and tip glue set but um this one pretty much did the trick except for the bubble there but that was my fault you know we're just kind of testing it out but it, it's pretty much there you know and to test it out even further i mean you have a uv lamp for a dollar 25 so it's not that at all now we're gonna my channel's called print and craft so i have to try a craft with this little thing to see how well the UV resin cures on it. So let's do that. Let me see what I can find to make for you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I am going to, and I folded this to see if it was uh, um, resistant, and it is. I found these that I had made a while ago. So I'm just gonna put the UV resin on top of them to see if it works. I'm gonna take it, put it over here for now. But, um, let me get you guys closer. A little bit. There it is. I don't know why this thing's so messy. Sorry about that. But let's see. Let me get it a little more done. Um, okay, so. Okay, so these are done curing. Um, they came out good, actually. This one has some bubbles, but that's because I didn't pop them before I cured them. So, um, yeah, pretty cool little products. Very neat. So I do recommend you guys, you should go get some if you're going to be using them often for either crafts or doing your nails, you know.